The tracking of stock quantities in JobPro is a highly complicated area of the system, especially that you can track stock at multiple locations, tracking items by serial numbers and batches, and relevant other areas that can complicate the actual programming of the stock tracking in this system. Now there is a potential, although it is very rare that this can happen, that stock figures could get out of sync with actual live data in the system. Now it could happen, for example, if somebody was doing a purchase order receive and the system goes to update a product record for the quantity in stock at a location for that item. And there could be some reason, like maybe somebody was editing a record and had the re left the record locked and the script wasn't able to update, well then the stock could get out of sync. So we have a mechanism for dealing with this, basically to sort out that problem. So if, for example, you need to check and see are there actually any products out of sync, you can go into the products module, you can click on options, and you can click on find records with stock quantities out of sync. Now in this case, it's saying there are currently no records flagged as out of sync with live data. So that's fine. But let's just pretend we find one, the current record. Now if a stock record is out of sync, you'll notice a particular location line, if you've got multiple locations, will be in red. Now if you only have one stock location, well then you'll always have one line in here anyway. So let's just show you how this works. This is like a, a system maintenance feature basically and sort of like a hidden feature. So when we hover over the arrow to the left of the location, it says that if you click on the arrow, you'll view the location record. But if you hold down the shift key, it brings you into what we call a product location specific screen. So I'm going to do that now. And we're brought into this screen here that shows us re relevant to the product but also relevant to the location any historical information that should make up what the currently quanti current quantity in stock is for that item at that location. Now in this case nothing is out of sync so everything is a difference of zero but if for example a record had got out of sync well then you'd see red text here and there'll be a quantity difference in one of the lines. So let's just pretend and put in a quantity of, for example, four here. And that shows then that there's a difference. So what we're doing really is just breaking the system to show you what happens if a stock record has become out of sync. So if I re just return back and show you what, as a user, you'd see, you'd see that that location record for this item is in red and there's also a stock sync error here which you can actually search on as well. So if we hold down the shift key and we're brought into the screen again and you can then see where the issue was but the immediate way of dealing with this is just to click on sync current record which you can do from here and that will get rid of the problem. If you're unsure how this problem happened, you could also give technical support a call or an email and just explain, especially if it's a recurring problem, that there may be some issue to be looked at. So I'm just going to break it again here just to show you if we go back and return and go back into options and if we click on find records with stock quantities out of sync, it'll just find that one record that we've purposely broken but also from the options screen we can go sync stock quantities for current record it compares with the live data in other words actual real data or we can also sync stock quantities for found set of records so if this function here found more than one record well then this button will actually sort out all those records in one go so in this case we'll just sync stock quantities for the current record and process is complete so now that's fixed that error. As mentioned earlier, this is something that would be rarely used, but just means that it's easy to get at in the system so you can do your own maintenance on the data if needs be.